Hey everyone, Eric here. In today's video, I am literally hopped up on Monster Energy. No, they're not a sponsor, and that's not what I'm here to talk about, but it is gonna make me get through this video fast. What I am here to share with you today is my number one top Helix tone tip of all time. Let's jump over and have a look. Okay, so here we are over in HX Edit. This is gonna be a lightning fast preset we're gonna create thanks to that uh, Monster Energy drink that I'm drinking a moment ago that I'm not used to having. We're gonna pop in an amplifier. We might as well use something new. Let's go grab the uh, Rev Gen Purple. We're gonna pop that in. High gain amplifier, so we're gonna pop on a noise gate. We're gonna go pop on a cabinet. We've got a cab right now, cab, and let's grab one of my favorites here as well too. So right off the get-go, we got something like this. Okay, gonna pop in some comfort effects like I like to call them. Put on some reverb, go to legacy, go to plate, bring down that decay somewhere at a reasonable level and bring down our mix a little tiny bit as well too. So now we got this. Okay, a little sprinkle of some delay. That's the last thing we're gonna add before we use our secret weapon. Okay, and we're gonna bring down that delay time somewhere on the 380 some odd milliseconds. I would type it in to be precise, but okay, that's close enough. Bring the feedback down a little bit, and we're gonna bring the mix down a little bit. So now we've got something, that, oops, we wanna move it as well, over in front of the reverb. And we got this. Okay, so it delays a little too heavy, but you get the idea. Now here comes our secret weapon. When I used to use real amplifiers, my EVH5153 amplifiers, and those, the, the lunch boxes, and all those kind of things, this was the pedal I used, and some people thought I was actually crazy for doing it this way, but I used this pedal in the loop, always engaged, all the time. All right, and here's how we're gonna do that today as well too. We are talking about the Kinky Boost, which is modeled after the Exotic Effects EP Booster. We're gonna grab that one right now. Here's what we're gonna do. We're going to turn the drive to zero. No drive, but we are gonna turn the boost on, and we're gonna put it right after the amplifier. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Let's turn it off. One more time on. So there you go. Using the Kinky Boost, we're gonna put the drive to zero, we're gonna put the boost on, and we're gonna place it immediately after the amplifier and uh, see what it does for your presets. Pretty simple. Once you hear it, you can't unhear it. If you found this tip helpful today, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're new here and haven't yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button right now. Turn on all post notifications. And I promise to work just as hard to keep you as a subscriber as I did to get you as one. If you really enjoyed this tone tip today, you can always hit the tip jar at paypal.me slash musicgearnetwork. We'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, cheers. <laughs>